Welcome to Techie Jack. In this video, we are going to see how we can quickly deploy the Azure Virtual Machine using Azure Resource Manager template. You can deploy a Resource Manager template into a resource group as a single operation. And using the Resource Manager template will make your deployment faster and more repeatable. For example, you no longer have to create a virtual machine in the portal and wait for it to finish and then create a next virtual machine. The Resource Manager template takes care for the entire deployment for you. So let's go to the Azure portal and get started. So right now I am inside the Azure portal. And if we go to the resource groups, we have a three resource group. In order to create a Azure VM by the help of the JSON file, we have to click on this cloud shell. Once we click on this cloud shell, it may ask you to create a storage account. You can click on the storage account. And if it asks you the PowerShell or bash, you have to select the PowerShell. So what we are going to do here is here we have a script dollar resource group name read host prompt enter the resource group name it will prompt for the input and same it will prompt for the location input as well and for the admin username and the password and the dns label prefix it will prompt all these settings once we enter the prompted string then it will run the command let new azure resource group and the name of the resource group will be picked from this input and the location will also be picked from this input. After that, we will run the commandlet new Azure resource group deployment. Resource group name will be picked from the resource group name and the template URL will be from the GitHub. And same way the admin username, password, DNS label will be picked from here. If we go to this URL, you can see the JSON template is this. Admin username, type the string. We have to input that and the password should be minimum length of 12 character and the public IP name will be my public IP. It is predefined in the JSON file. Allocation method will be dynamic. Public IP SKU will be basic and the OS version will be 2019 data center second generation and the VM size will be standard D2S version 3. So it is predefined here and the name of the VM will be the simple VM. You can see the IP address is already defined that is the local IP and you can see the 3389 the RDP port is allowed. So this is a predefined template and let me try to copy this. And let's try to paste it here. It's asking for the resource group name. You can see right now we have only three resource group. So let's try to create a new resource group by the name of new RG4. And I will hit enter. And for the location, let's type the central US. I will hit enter. And it's asking for the username. I will type Jack. And same way it's asking for the password. Let me put the password as well and I will hit enter and it's asking the unique DNS name for the public IP. So let's type techie Jack and let's hit enter. Now it's creating new resource group. It has created a resource group by the name of new RG4 location is central US that is succeeded. Now it's running the new Azure resource group deployment. It will pick the JSON from this URL admin username password and dns label we have already provided it so let's wait for a while and it will create the virtual machine this is a simple vm deployment but if you want to change the setting for your vm you can do that as well now you can see it is created the deployment name is azure deploy resource group is new rg4 succeeded admin username is jack Password as secure string. That's why it's showing null DNS prefix. We have given techie check public IP name my public IP that was predefined allocation method dynamic public IP SKU basic. You can see all these things were predefined. If we go here right now, we cannot see the new RG4. If I go and refresh it here, we can see the new RG4 resource group is here and location is central US. If I click this, see we have all these things created automatically. We have a default network security group, public IP, VM NIC, VNet, storage and a simple VM. So if I click on simple VM, here I have a public IP for that. If I go and copy this and I put it inside the remote desktop, the username was the Jack and let me put the password. So our virtual machine is ready. 
this is how you can create your virtual machine quickly in Azure. If I go to the properties of the computer, you can see the name of the VM is Simple VM. It's 8 gigs of RAM, Windows Server 2019 data center. So our machine has been deployed. Let's go to the resource group again. Same way if you want to create a Azure VM with the help of JSON template and you don't want to use the commandlet, you can search for the template and you can click on this deploy a custom template and you can see create a windows virtual machine or create a linux virtual machine let me create a windows virtual machine and here we will create a new resource group and i will give it a name as a new rg9 and we'll click on ok and region this time i will select southeast asia and the username jack and i will set the password for this and the dns label I will do that techie jack 2 public IP this time I will select the static and you can see the OS version that is 2019 data center second generation and let's rename the VM name type it as a new VM let's review and create it's running the validation the validation has been passed so let me click on create it's initializing the deployment deployment is in progress at the background it is using the json template but in this process we don't have to put the commandlets now the deployment has been completed let's go to the home and the resource group you can see the new rg9 and we have our new vm here in the region of southeast asia if we copy the public address and try to connect so our new vm is also ready and if you see the computer name of this computer, let me go to the properties. You can see the computer name is new VM, 8GB, Windows Server 2019 data center. I hope now you know how you can quickly create a virtual machine in Azure by the help of JSON file and PowerShell. In our next video, we will try to deploy the Azure VM with remote PowerShell through a local computer and local JSON file. So let's meet in a next video.